Why? Why do I have to put on the left spin chain? Why it can't change gear? Where's that funny sound coming from? Oh, come on! It's good to have you here. I am Petrelli. This is the All Things Brompton channel. To here, we will talk about Bromptons. We will show you my ride. It will show you the Brompton news. There will be some reviews. There will be talk about some text and some technical stuff in here. So if you do like Brompton stuff, please consider subscribe to the channel. Send this little video a little bit of like. It will help other Brompton riders to see this. So today we're going to talk about something that I touch base on in my videos two days ago. So we are talk. We are going to cover the slapping 11 speed chain onto the Brompton. So why do we want to slap 11 speed chain onto the Brompton to start with? Okay, uh, the Brompton, we have to track back a little bit of uh, basic first. Brompton itself uses a six, seven, eight speed chain, something like this. Um, I say six, seven, eight because six, seven, eight speed genuinely are literally the same size of chain. So when you buy them, uh, you buy a six, seven, eight speed speed chain and replace the original Brompton. Sometimes this is called the, the normal chain as well in some of the bike shop. So you can go to them, tell them if you want it. So if you want a replacement, you can just go to the shop and ask for 6, 7, X speed chain, a normal chain. So if they ask you for the size, you can just tell them 332 of an inch. This is the outer width of the chain, the outer width, the maximum width of the chain. So you can just tell them three over 32 of an inch, they can get scored that for you, pretty easy. So uh, why do we want to slap on 11 speed chain onto the Brompton? One of the main reasons I think of is fashionable, I guess, it's an upgrade, right? But uh, okay, um, it's an upgrade, right? So people love that, an upgrade, upgrade is always good. But uh, what comes with the upgrade? Okay, 11 speed chain, a lot of brands make this, Shimano, KMC, and many other brands. The 11 speed chain is like the mainstream chain now. Like it goes on to all these road bike, mountain bikes, all the racing bikes, they are all 11 speed. 11 speed is the one that sells the most now. So uh, when it is mainstream, it's actually easiest, it's easiest to get. You have more color options, you have different gray gradings. So um, the 11 speed chain is lighter because it's thinner. And like I said, you have different grades. So you can guide, buy them in professional racing grades like uh, the Shimano, Dura Ace, a little bit lower, you have the Altigra 105 like that. And with the KMC, you, you get this Super SL or you, uh, you get the, um, the KMC DLC 11, DLC 12 now uh, on diamond coating with different color options as well. So it is a lighter options as well as being the mainstream, as well as being the mainstream. So, um, and generally they are more rust proof, like they have the better one and they have the normal ones. But generally, I say the 11 speed, cha 11 speed chain are more rust proof than the 678. I think it re reflected on, on the price tag as well. Um, so in Australia, you can get a 678 speed chain for roughly around 25, 40. I just got ripped off last week. I spent 40 on a chain and there were some that are like 25. And it goes up to uh, over 100, 150 um, for 11 speed chain. So there's a range, there's a range for 11. So you pay more, you get better out from it as well. So um, one of the major reason why people and well, why you would want to put a 11 speed chain onto your bike is uh, the 11 speed chains, some of the brands, they offer color options like um, KMC, for instance. This is a black with orange themed. So have black with yellow, black with blue, black with red, black with pink, whatever. And there are all black chains. You get gold color chains, lighter chain, whatever. So you have a lot of options, color options with the 11 speed. So. These are the pros, these are the pros. This is, this is why you want to upgrade to an 11 speed chain. Does the 6, 7, X speed chain work? Of course it does, but you don't get the fancy, fancy upgrades on it, right? So um, the next time when you consider changing your chain, just stick that in your mind. Do you want those benefits? Or do you just want to 
kind of the ordinary working normal chain. But before you make a decision, you have to understand one thing. There are pros and there will be coins. There are always some problems coming with it if it is not what it is originally be using. So the problem that comes with after you slapping on the 11 speed chain is, like I was telling you before, the normal chain, the 670 chain is wider and the 11 speed chain in the other hand is narrower. So when you slap it on, a lot of riders would have made the complaint. I received a lot of complaints. Uh, or should I say they have issues working with the drive chain system where they cannot shift. Um, genuinely, when somebody call me, text me, reach out for me, they're saying, hey, they cannot shift. After, cannot shift. I would genuinely ask them, have you swapped the chain out? Sometimes they would just tell me, being very honest, yes. So if it is yes, I would tell them, is it when you shift from the faster gear to the slower gear, you get this this clicking, mashing sound that the gear will never change. 95% it is the case. 95% it is the case. So it always happens. It is due to the fact that the chain is narr narrower on the 11 speed. So from the chain, to the bigger spoklet when your chain is sitting on a smaller spoklet has increased. So let me show you this picture here. This is the picture that is showing you um, what happened with slap on 11 speed chain on an original spoklet set directly from Brompton. You see the gap there? Yeah, this is the gap that you want to avoid, right? Okay, so when you are trying to shift, what actually happened is when you press the shifter, the chain pusher will pushes the jockey wheel and the jockey will glide the chain from the small spoklet to the big one. That's when you shift from the faster gear to the slower gear. When it's pushing it, the chain is trying to climb from the smaller spoklet to the bigger spoklet. So if there's a gap, that gap maybe is the bridge too far for it to climb up. I mean, some riders don't mind that. Click, 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 click. Maybe you rotate it four times, you will eventually get there. Sometimes it's magically working. Most of the time it doesn't. Some riders can live with it. I can't, I'm sure you can as well. That's why you're here watching this, right? So it just doesn't climb up to, from the small spoklet to the big one. So what do we do? What do we do if it doesn't climb up? So we have to narrow down the gaps, right? So um, the washer, the spacer in between the two spoklet is 2.2 2 mm to be very exact. The washer that's being used on the original Brompton spoklet set is 2.22 mm. So ideally, my experience tell me if I slot in a 1.5 mm spacer, reducing the space in between the two spoklet, the large one and the small one, it would just do the work. It would just do, do, do the work right. So um, you will need to find a 1.5 mm spoklet to get the job done. And then, because you reduce the 2.2 to 1.5, there's a 0 0.7, suddenly mm, so suddenly there's a 0 0.7 mm of a gap appearing out from nowhere. You will need to fill up those gaps. Otherwise, your spoklet set is gonna have a bit of free play there. Your shifting won't be good as well because the spoklet will just move around from left to right. So you will want to find a 0 0.7 mm washer to replace that. It's actually that washer size of 0.7 mm is quite hard to buy. Um, you will have to look for the shop to get it for you. Generally, I would just put in a half a uh, half a mm, 0.5 mm plus a 0.2 mm. They will generally do the job. So this is how you fix it. After you have this arrangement, like the picture that I'm showing you now, now you see the gaps has been significantly reduced, right? Once it's reduced, when you shift from the faster gear to the slower gear, from the smaller spoklet to the larger spoklet, the chain will just climb up like you were used to on the 6.7 XP chain. So there's, there is no issue when you change from the slower gear to the faster gear because the chain will just get pushed and will just drop to the faster gear. So there's no problem when it's dropping down. But when it climbs up, you want to close the gap, make it easier to climb up the gears to get the gear shiftings. After you have replaced all the washes, the spaces in between the spoklets, make it compatible for the 11 speed chain. Now you have to do apply the secret sauce. What's happening with this secret sauce? So um, you, because the two spoklet 
especially the one in the inside, has been shifted a little bit closer to the outside one, right? So you will want to adjust the pusher, the maximum truffling for the pusher. There's little screws that you have to adjust for the maximum and minimum, the most inside, the most outside. You have to adjust that. And once you have that adjust, your gears tuned, you're good to go and ride. Yeah, so are you ready for the change? I hope you are because it's an upgrade and everybody wants some upgrades. Anyway, um, I hope I had answered you. I, have, I hope I gave you enough answers on changing to the 11 speed chain or help you to fix the issues. So if you do enjoy the videos, you know what to do. So for the meantime, stay good with the Brompton. Go Brompton, go and dash.